And with those strong winds and heavy rain, companies like Eversource here, they're getting ready for a long night. And state agencies, well, they're getting ready for a very early morning at work. Our concerns are power outages, high winds, urban street flooding versus river flooding. With strong winds and heavy rains expected overnight, New Hampshire's Director of Homeland Security and Emergency Management is opening the state's Emergency Operations Center at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. She says state agency staff will be there to help local communities. If it's flooding, we can help them out with bringing sandbags, barricades, uh, blocking roads, that kind of thing with the help from DOT. So we bring in the people that we need for the situation. The seacoast is bracing for the storm, shoring up a seawall near the mouth of Rye Harbor. And with 14-foot swells predicted, fishermen have moved their boats to protected areas and doubled mooring lines. It's just terribly risky to go anywhere. Just stay, stay in the harbor, stay in sheltered waters, and, and, and don't go out. Back on land, the strong winds may cause power outages. Eversource says it is tracking the storm and ready to work if necessary. We have more than 400 line, tree, and service workers ready to respond. We will be working through the night to restore power to all of our customers who are impacted as quickly and safely as possible. And officials want to remind everyone that if you see downed power lines, stay away from them and go ahead and call 911 to tell them about them. Also, have an emergency kit at home and a plan. In Manchester, Jessica Miranda, WMUR News 9.